Hello everyone, this is Bilal and I welcome you all in our course that is building planning and drawing using the AutoCAD uh, uh, which is having a building plan, elevation and section we need to draw. So this is our basic presentation drawing which we need to minimally will give to the site. Okay. So which includes the walls, which includes the doors and windows, which includes the uh, projections that is splint projections, slab projections and the chacha projections and it uh, includes all the uh, details of the room sizes okay and it the hatches also we need to show if it is a uh, bbm or if it is a stone masonry depending upon that one we need to hash that one or it is a concrete wall then we need to show concrete if it is columns are there then we need to show the columns also this is the basic presenting drawing which we need to give uh, with these minimum details on the side rather than that we need to add uh, like furniture layouts we can add that one plumbing uh, uh, this one and we can add all these things okay. so we'll start we'll go with the next one the next part of this drawing so after the plan we need to do the elevations okay so so the position of the elevation the as per the is standards the position of the elevation will always above the level of above the plan okay so above the plan there is a elevation and after that at the right side uh, we are providing the sections and below the section we can provide the site plan if it is there or we can provide the uh, schedule of openings also okay most of the cases we are providing the uh, site plan then we can provide the schedule of opening FAR ratios all that things we are going to provide that one. okay so uh, before starting the elevation so what all things we need to keep in our mind that is very important okay the first thing is uh, we need to find the levels of the different different graphs okay so we need to understand that one in the elevation so what elevation we are showing here so we can show the front elevations also we can show the side elevations also okay but uh, in our this one we are most of the cases we are showing the front elevations or which is uh, which elevation is facing to the road that elevation we need to show okay so here uh, we can consider this one as a uh, front in the front side of the uh, building we are considering the road so this front elevation we are showing to the we are showing here okay in the elevation so uh, while doing the elevation first we need to understand what is the uh, level of the ground what is the type of the ground whether it is a slopey ground whether it is a straight ground whether having any uh, objects over there any undulations are there that we need to identify that one okay so in this example we are considering a straight ground a plain ground uh, which is having a very minimum undulations okay so the first step i am going to draw here a ground line i just draw a ground line here so this is our ground line okay i just write here a ground line I will, going, I will just write here okay so this is ground level I just okay so this is our ground level so first I need to draw the ground level okay so once we draw the ground level next we need to identify the different levels of the structure so how many levels of the structures are there the first one is the ground level okay and below the ground level that is the substructure and above the ground level that is a superstructure and at the top that is a roof okay always we just remember in the front elevation we are not showing any substructure what is mean by front elevation if you stand in front of the any structure whatever the elevation will show you will see that we call as front elevation so if you stand in front of any structure if you see the elevation or you can take any house you just see the elevation you will not see the foundation that is below the ground it will not visible so always you just imagine that so we are standing in front of the building that is here we are standing over here and we are seeing this particular structure and the whatever the foundation will be there that is the below ground that is not visible only the thing is what is visible here if you are standing in front of the building here so these steps will be visible correct this veranda visible okay this wall visible this window visible 
this window and this corners and this corners main door is also not visible because we are seeing in this direction correct so uh, i just draw so that you can easily identify that one so which direction we are standing so if it is we are standing in this direction so we are facing like this so if you stand here the steps this window is just visible this door will not be visible because in the side elevation it is visible not in the front and this wall this window again this side wall will not be visible only here this corner line visible this window and this wall and this corner and this corner and this slab projections this correct and this churches so these things will be visible in the front elevation correct so so next so first the first step of doing the elevation is first we need to identify the levels so first level is ground level so below the ground level no need to show that one the first level is ground level after the ground level what level will come after the ground level the plinth level will come okay so uh, what is the height of the plinth so here you can see this one this plinth whatever we have shown that plinth level we need to show okay so after the plinth level we need to show the sill level okay after that what is the sill level sill level is the bottom level of the window bottom level of the window after the uh, sill level the next we need to show the lintel okay we need to show the lintel level next we need to show the slab level and next we need to show the parapet level so these are the different different levels so we need to show that one okay so what is the size what or what is the height of that levels okay i just write it here i just write it here front elevation first one is ground level that is at 0.0 next one is plinth level that is what we have taken here here you can see this one okay plinth width 0.45 and what is the height of the plinth so we can as per the standard as per the standard things we can consider the plinth height as 0.45 meter okay width also we can considering the 0.45 and height also we can consider the 0.45 it the plinth height will be depends upon the road level the plinth height is depends upon the uh, water water like uh, what is the water table at uh, depending upon the water table also and depending upon the road height also we are considering the plinth level okay most of the cases from the ground or the from the uh, road level we are considering 0.44 meter height of the plinth sometimes it will goes high also sometimes it goes less also don't go less than 0.45 meter if you go less than 0.45 meter then in the rainy season there is a chances of dampness of the floor okay so most of the cases minimum height we just consider that is 0.45 meter that is the plinth height so next one sill level so sill level will differ sill level will differ uh, from the windows to windows correct so if you are considering the living room into if the size of the living room or depth of the building uh, room window is more if you compare with the bedroom if you compare with the kitchen okay kitchen window height will be less because the kitchen top will become so for that purpose the height of the kitchen window will be less uh, bedroom height is different living room is different but in our case in this particular drawing so what we considering here all the windows here you can see this one all the windows are 1.5 meter by 1.2 meter so we are considering 1.2 meter so what is the sill level we need to calculate that one so 1.5 meter is the width of the window and 1.2 meter is the height of the window okay so how to calculate the sill level so total height is how much 2.1 meter total height of the lintel from the bottom of the lintel we need to calculate from the floor level to the bottom of the lintel that is 2.1 meter that is already given in the question from the floor level to the bottom of the window that is 2.1 meter and we are considering from 2.1 meter minus 1.2 meter is equal to 
2.1 minus 1.2 so that is 0 0.9 meter 0 0.9 is the our cell level okay so this is uh, in this example all the levels are same so if it is a living room window sometimes it will be changed most of the cases it will be changed and uh, we can calculate for the different different window level we can calculate the different cell levels okay so for the first one is the ground level next one is splint level next one is cell level and next level next one is lintel level lintel level is how much 2.1 meter this is the bottom of the lintel from the floor to the bottom of the lintel 2.1 meter next slab level that is also bottom of the slab that is 3 meter next parapet level what is mean by parapet level here so above the slab a small height of masonry wall we are constructed uh, so that to avoid the accidents and all and so that uh, the whatever the rain water will be there it will not fall uh, it will not directly uh, drain off through the walls for that purpose we are providing the parapet wall and safety purpose also we are providing the parapet wall so one meter we are considering the parapet height so that is four meter correct i just write here height of the parapet height of the parapet one meter so i think is it clearly visible okay height of the parapet we can consider one meter okay these are the ground levels so now first we need to mark now first we need to mark the levels so which is the first level ground level zero zero what is the next level next level is splint level that is 0 0.45 i just take the offset command press enter 0 0.45 press enter I just mark the next level okay okay i just write here i just write here this is a ground level okay next after the ground level plinth level i just write plinth okay okay after the plane what is the next level uh, that is sea level 0.9 meter offset from the plane it is 0 0.9 okay 0 0.9 okay i just write seal then offset after the seal lintel level that is 2.1 meter 2.1 meter is from plinth only offset 2.1 meter from the plinth only or from the floor only okay this is lintel next slab next one is slab level that is 3 meter that is from the plinth level only offset 3 meter let's enter i just give you 3 meter copy slab next parapet level 4 meter that is from also plinth only so every distance we are giving from the plinth only
Okay, so we have marked the different levels plinth, plinth level, cell level, inter level, slab level, and bottom level. Uh, sorry, parapet level. Okay, so once we mark this one, next step is we need to project the elevations. Okay, uh, we are considering here the plan at the top and section here, but some architects the plan will be uh, sorry, a uh, plan at the bottom, elevation at the top and section at the right side this is this format we are considering but some architects will change this one they will not follow the same things okay so most of the cases this one will be used some architects will change so there is no rules some rules will be there to do like this only we can change that one some architects below that one okay top they will uh, do the plan and below that one they will do the elevation why they to project these things to project this elevation they, it will be get easy okay so first ground level zero level next one what we need to mind we need to find the plane so you just identify where is the plane here this is your plane corner 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 all the plane corner you just project first so i just go to the projection line or construction line click here i just click on the projection here in the upper direction one press enter next this corner or the corners we need to project next plinth corner okay not a wall corners we are showing the plinth line here corner this object and this corner okay the same thing one and this corner okay so we have projected here so extra just with deal tell one So this is our ground and this is our plate. So we have projected the plate. So I just delete this one. So this is our plate. So here you can see this one ground to plane. We have projected this one, two, three, four. Four corners will be visible. One, two, three, four. Okay. So next about the plane, there is a cell. Cell corners. Cell in the sense wall corners one and here there is no wall so second and here one third and here one is fourth again i go to the construction line i just selected this one i just project this line one next two next three and four okay now you just join this one so this wall from the plane up to the which height it will go this wall from the plane up to the bottom of the slab the same wall will move okay above the parapet parapet sometimes it will be changed okay it will be sometimes it will provided on the projection also sometimes it will provided on the above the wall also and thickness of the wall also will be changed but here from the plane to the bottom of the slab there is no changes in the thickness it will go same so the same thing we need to do okay so i just trim whatever the extra part will be there i don't want this so in the plinth i don't want the wall so if i see in front of this one i just see the this one okay i just deleted okay this is our parapet okay to separate this one string this one so that you can easily identify the things okay I just make it as dotted so that clear so here this is also we don't want okay this is our front elevation so we mark the 
splint level, we mark the sill level, we mark the lintel bottom level, we mark the slab bottom level, we mark the parapet level. Okay. So next, next now you just see, in, you just stand in front here and just see what is visible from this corner. You just start. What is visible? Steps. Then veranda. Then this wall. Then window. Then veranda. Okay, we'll start from here. We are visiting steps steps from where it is starting from this wall line it is starting okay this is our steps from here from here it is starting 0 0.15 as i told you the riser in the elevation riser will be visible in the plan Crest will be visible so riser 0 0.15 we need to take and thread we need to take 0.3 thread 0 0.15 riser and thread 0 0.3 and 0 0.15 okay so this is our steps from here it will be visible next our veranda and after the veranda our this wall will come so what which is that wall okay this wall this is our veranda from here this wall will come and we just see this one okay veranda will over here where the veranda will over the veranda will end here that line we need to show or this this line. Next, this wall. And this wall I have shown. This wall, this corner. After that, this window. This window will come. Just project this window and I just mark there. One and two. So here it will come. Okay. And what level? From the lintel bottom to the sill level, the window will come. Remaining I just trim. Okay, so I projected the window. So one more window will come here. This is end of the corner wall. This is the corner wall. And one more window will come. I just show that window. I just project one. Two. Okay, I trim two, three, four, five. Okay. okay so this is our from here we uh, get these steps the steps we just write over here and we'll come here we can considering this is as a railings which is provided here and here our door is there here window this is our window okay this is our lintel level so okay and what will else will be visible here next slab so we just provide the lintel level here it will not visible i just show you what is the thickness of the lintel i just write here thickness of lintel zero point one five meter thickness of slab 0 
meter okay these are the standard thicknesses which we are providing for the residential buildings for the other buildings it will varies and the thickness of the lintel also depends upon the width of the window okay but width of the window is uh, smaller here that is 1.5 meter so no issue 1.0.15 meter is enough just go to the drawing so this is our window this is our slab okay what is this this is slab bottom offset slab thickness is 0 0.125 press enter and above that one we just provided the one meter height okay so just delete this one the level whatever we have provided that is not correct i just go to the offset command one meter from the top of the slab we have considered the from the bottom of the slab so we are cons we need to consider from the top of the slab it is one meter okay so let's delete this one so this is our and here again what will be visible slab projection one two and three this projection we need to show so here here what is your projection what is our slab projection I just check from this wall the projection is 0 0.45 okay so we'll draw the slab projection 0 0.45 press enter thickness is 0.125 press enter 0.45 enter and here also it will be visible 0.45 only a only this line we need to show that's it 0.45 and thickness is 0.125 press enter and again 0.45 press enter so I just trim this one so that it will look this will not trim because here it is a wall okay so this is how our front elevation will looks now you can give the design to this so we can give the different different designs for the elevations uh, we can give the designs all that things uh, okay so window will be there so window I just offset uh, 0.15 I just give the not 0.15 offset 0.1 that is the thickness of the window frame I'm considering and I'm doing this one frame Press enter. Okay. So like this, I'm considering the window here. This is our railings. Uh, okay, I just give offset 0.1. That is the railing thickness. One meter okay, we can consider it or we can evenly divide this one also no issue we can keep it as this one we can do any other designs over here also we can do the designs over here randomly I can consider
okay so like this we need to give uh, one more window we have missed this window we have missed this one the here one window will come right so again we just project this one go to the construction line we just give the projection one uh, it will go slow go to the projection line one two what is the lintel level here so what uh, this is our lintel level okay this is our seal level this is how our window will look i just copy this one and i just paste over there this is how we need to do the front elevation so next once we do that one so i just we need to just move this one show the dimensions all the dimensions we need to show here so in the front elevation how it will looks we need to show that one how, what are the uh, in the elevation it is coming we need to show that one if you want to do you can do the designs over here correct whatever the designs if you want you can do the designs i just give one small center here and here we can do this one as a railings uh, offset point one Like this, we can use any designs. I just use the array command. Sim. I just, uh, just for understanding, I'm giving this one. So depend depending upon the architect to architect and requirement of the client and as per the. We can do the circle also. like this you can give the like this we can give the different different design for this one and here also you can give something okay so next we need to show the uh, dimensions height of the plinth next seal height seal height we don't need to show just show the lintel bottom two point okay sorry it is slab bottom it is coming 2.98 our slab bottom is 3 meter right why it is coming 2.98 we just check okay 3 meter so before that one we need to show the lintel height also we need to show uh, okay so i just show here two point one and slab bottom from the floor level i just show here or i can show that side also thickness of the slab point one two five it is one two five right dim style i just go or define uh text height i just change so that it will be visible properly and primary units i just keep it as 0 0.125 okay close correct and parapet height this is our parapet height one meter so like this we need to do the front elevation okay so this dimension showing this dimension is very important 
uh, all the dimensions should be properly show so that uh, it will get the idea about this one clear so this is this is how we need to do the front elevation and in the elevation you can do whatever the designs in the elevation the important thing is these levels these levels are the very important part okay so if you provide these levels at pr proper proper levels so that uh, the whatever the contractors will be there whatever the clients will be there architects everyone we can those who are working in the site they can easily identify these levels so elevation in the elevation the design and the levels are the important part okay so as a uh, in the presenting drawing or in presentation drawing so this much should be minimally we need to show to the show in the working drawings the dimensions the levels and the front design or if you stand in front of this one whatever the things will be seen you just need to show here okay so i just write here what is this front this is our front elevation okay this is how we need to do the front elevation now we just see the how to draw the section okay uh, so to draw the section so first we need to identify that one where the section line is passing so what is my need by the section section is nothing but it is a cross section of this point okay the building is uh, the whatever the, the section we have the, this is a cross section of this line the cross section of this wall the cross section of this door this wall and this wall so this is door and this is a continuous wall but here the door opening is coming that door opening is uh, only the from the plinth level to the uh, lintel level that's it okay above that one above the lintel level there is a wall and below the plinth level there is also a foundation of the wall okay so okay first thing we need to identify then where the this section is line is passed so this section line wherever the, this section line is passed uh, in that section we need to show that one okay and one more thing this section line will be passed through the most of the critical cases okay here we are just simply passed over here but most of the cases uh, which where the most of the information will get covered in that places we are cover, we are providing the sections okay so here we can provide this one also okay or else we can provide the section like like this also i can show you like this also we can provide the section line correct so it is passing one wall it is cutting another wall it is cutting one more wall it is cutting this wall and this one so like this also we can cut the sections okay uh, which we take the first one only okay so this is our section line so first thing we need to identify that one that section line is uh, what is there so what is uh, wh how many number of walls it is cutting okay so so once you cut this one from here in the cross section if you cut this building and if you stand here what all things will be visible that we need to show for example we are standing here we are cutting this section and you're just seeing this one in this direction so if you cut this wall you will see this one and if you come here you just see this background wall also okay so this door cutting and if you come here so this dotted line wall also we just uh, visible okay we are considering this is as a opening okay if it is a opening then what happened directly we can see this window if you come here if you cut this one if you stand here if you stand here if it is we can consider this as a opening then we can see this window okay then this wall then this door also we'll see correct if you stand here you can see this door also and this wall and okay this much we need to see 
okay so what this wall section we need to show this wall section with door we need to show and this window we need to show this wall section this door and this wall section these things are visible in the cross section that all things we need to show correct so how to start the cross section so to start the cross section the first thing is we need to draw the ground line so whatever this ground line will be there the same ground line as this project so that it will be easy to draw that one so i projected the draw line okay so next the next step is we need to identify the levels how we are doing in different television the same things we need to think identify the levels what are the levels so in the cross section not only the superstructure and the roof we need to identify the levels of the ground also below the ground also what all things will be there that things also we need to identify okay so i just open the text I just write here what all things will come in here okay uh, section section at xx correct so at x axis we are showing the section so if one uh, below the ground uh, below the ground below the ground of thickness okay uh, below the ground we need to do the pcc plain cement concrete of thickness 0.1 meter okay so after the excavation okay after the marking on the ground next step is excavation why uh, the procedure of the construction after the excavation uh, after the any excavation first step we need to do is we need to provide the plain cement concrete any structure will take uh, whichever will start from the uh, soil subsoil or in the soil we need to provide the pcc without pcc we can't do any structure okay so always first step is after the excavation on the square we need to provide the pcc or we need to provide the uh, soling or we need to provide the this one but always we need to provide the pcc why we need to provide the pcc because to to sustain the soil pressure also at the same time okay it will not take that much of soil pressure so at the same time if any reinforcement will be provided in the concrete to avoid the rusting of the uh, uh, concrete also uh, rusting of the bar also we are providing the pcc and to avoid the dampness that is the important and to avoid the dampness we need providing the pcc over that okay so first step we need to do is we need to provide the pcc okay so after the excavation we are providing the pcc so about the pcc this is uh, uh, we are considering this one uh, as a two story uh, sorry a load bearing structure okay we are considering this one as a load bearing structure so two step stone masonry we are providing okay so we are providing the two steps stone masonry and above the two steps we are providing the plinth and above the plinth superstructure or our wall and above the wall there is a lintel and above the lintel again wall and again slab and again parapet that is our whole cross section okay so we are considering two step stone masonry two step stone masonry first step of size first step of size zero point eight meter by zero point five meter second step of size zero point six by zero point five meter and plinth 
of size already we have seen that one 0 0.45 meter size 0 0.45 meter okay so here in the section below the ground level of pcc 0.1 meter we just take next two steps stone masonry the first step is 0.8 by 0.5 meter that is 0.8 is the width and 0.5 is the depth and second step is 0.6 is the width and 0.5 is the depth and the third one is plane size is 0.45 meter depth depends upon this one okay so now i just go to the autocad okay so here where we need to draw this section or where we need to draw the foundation below the wall correct so which walls one two three four whichever this cross section line is passing that sections of the walls we need to draw okay so how to draw that one the first step is we need to extend the or we need to draw the ground level next step is we need to mark the center lines of the wall we need to mark the center line of the wall so this center line of the wall 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 i just mark the center line first on the plan then this line i just copy over here and then easily i can do that okay i just go to the section line so how to mark the center line i just go to the line i just extend this line so that i can easily one wall this is our second wall just extend this one so can can easily take the center line third wall and this one also third wall and the fourth wall okay now i just take the uh, section line i just mark the center center this triangle shows the center line again i just go to this triangle shows the center line one two third wall and the fourth wall okay so these are the center line of this wall okay i just copy this one just see it properly just copy and i just paste on the ground line okay i just paste it and this line i just deleted okay so the okay so these are the so here one two three four four wall it is crossing one two three four four walls are crossing so these are the center line of our walls these are the center line of our walls okay why we require the center line of the walls that i will tell you also okay uh, so next next step is we need to draw, draw the foundation first after the foundation plinth uh, about the plinth lintel then slab then parapet okay so how to what is the depth of the foundation how much we need to take the depth of the foundation so what we are seeing here here is we are considering two steps stone masonry so already 0.5 and 0.5 okay 0.5 and 0.5 it is 1 meter plus 0.1 1.1 meter already 1.1 meter is the uh, it will consider here so minimum depth we need to provide this much correct minimum depth we need to provide this much but as per the technical okay as per the engineering how to identify the depth of the foundation so to identify the depth of the foundation will be depends upon the soil bearing capacity of the soil what is the sbc of the soil depending upon that one how much load it will be transferred to the soil depending upon that one we need to go for the uh, excavation of the or depth of the foundation so normally or minimum as per the standard we need to go 1.5 meter or up to the hard strata we need to go for the excavation 1.5 meter or up to the hard strata we need to go that way so minimum we need to go for the excavation is 1.5 meter so i just take i was just considering 1.5 meter offset i just take enter 1.5 meter so minimum depth of the foundation is 1.5 meter i just delete this one okay correct fine next what is the width what is the width of the excavation 
so what is the width of the excavation uh, it is mentioned here the first step masonry is that is 0.8 meter this is the larger one this is 0.6 this is 0.45 so this is the first step that is the larger one 0.8 meters so that is the size of the stone 0.8 is the width of the stone masonry okay so what is the excavation width exactly if you take 0.8 meter then it is very difficult to construct that one there is no projection if it not projection will be there then it is uh, very difficult to know uh, do the mason work for the labor so we can consider it one meter so 0 0.1 0 0.1 or 100 mm 100 mm extra offsets we are taking so that it will be easy to do the masonry work okay so i am considering width so depth of the foundation we have marked width of the foundation offset one meter we are taking width of the foundation that is 0 0.5 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 correct I just trim the extra part. Just trim this one. We don't want all that things. So depth of the foundation is 1.5 and width of the foundation is 1 meter. Correct. So once the excavation is done, this much excavation we have done. Once the excavation is done, next step is we need to provide the PCC. We just go to the offset. What is the PCC thickness? 0.1. It is already mentioned here, point 0.1. We just provided the, after doing the excavation, we have provided the PCC. Okay, after the PCC, we need to provide one step stone masonry, second step stone masonry, then plinth will be continue till this level, plinth level. Okay. So next, second step of the size stone masonry. Uh, sorry, first step of size stone, point 0.8 meter is the width, point 0.5 meter is the height. Okay. Uh, so I just go to the AutoCAD offset 0 0.8 meter is the width so point this is the center line 0 0.4 0 0.4 0 0.4 the center 0 0.4 0 0.4 and what is the height height is 0 0.5 from the PCC level correct so now just trim the extra parts okay whatever the extra part will be there we just trim the first size stone masonry we have construct uh, uh, we are drawn next second step what is the size of the second step second step uh, stone size that is 0 0.6 by 0 0.5 so I just draw this one offset press enter 0.6 is the center 0 0.3 0 0.3 total is 0 0.6 0 0.3 0 0.3 and offset what is the height 0 0.5 I'll just trim that one extra part I just trim okay next plinth so what is this plinth level this is our plinth level so up to this plinth level you need to take the plinth height okay so height is depending upon uh, whatever the difference i want will come according to that one we need to take the height okay what up to the plinth level height we need to take but the width we need to take what is the width the width of the plinth we need to take 0 0.45 meter correct we need to take the width of the this one is 0 0.45 meter so okay from the right side and from the left side so just go to the offset command press enter from the right side if it's 0 0.45 divided by 2 that is 0 0.225 press enter okay now i just trim this one extra part i just trim okay so up to which level it is goes up to the plinth level i just project this one just trim. this is our plinth level correct and this also extra part i just trim this is our plinth level so above the plinth above the plinth so once we construct the above this is 0.45 the plinth top 
but we are providing the PCC over here also we are also providing the PCC over flooring uh, here also that I will show you later okay above the planes there is a superstructure so what is the uh, what is the thickness of the superstructure or thickness of the wall that is 0.23 correct so we need to draw that one 0.23 that is offset press enter 0 0.115 one two and i will just trim the extra part okay so now next lintel level lintel level i just show i just slab level i just show this is slab level this is our projection okay i just trim. so we got these levels okay so next seal level also we need to show seal level also okay we get this one so above that one we don't want this this is our top so okay next one is window this is our plane uh, okay so we have drawn the uh, I just uh, now we don't want the center line also I just deleted the center line so our PCC first step second step plane and above the plane superstructure or the wall okay so here the window so uh, this is our uh, seal level and this is our lintel bottom level above that one lintel we need to provide i just offset press enter what is the thickness of the lintel 0.15 i need to provide the lintel over here after that slab and the border parapet so and projection of the lintel also we need to show here correct what is the projection of the lintel? Uh, sorry, chajja. Not projection of the lintel, projection of the chajja. At the level of the lintel, we need to provide that one. Bottom of the level, uh, bottom of the lintel, we need to provide the chajja. The projection of the chajja is 0 0.6 meters. I just press enter. What is the thickness? So here I just do one thing. I just take a thickness at the projected end. I just take a thickness of the chajja is 0 0.1 and at the lintel level i just take the thickness is 0.15 i just am providing here you can see this one i'm providing a slight slope here so whatever the rain water will come it will be easily drain off for that purpose i'm providing a slight slope here okay then chajja projection uh, sorry slab projection that is 0 0.45 press enter 0 0.125 press enter enter then parapet level okay uh, now we just see that one oh, okay here we just see this one uh, the lines is crossing the first wall second one third one and fourth wall four all the walls we need to draw but here we did one small mistake here that the section line is not crossing the window if the section line is crossing the window then only we need to draw the window here but here it is not crossing the window so no need to draw the <coughs> window so i just delete this one i just just this level i just delete the chajja but lintel we need to keep the lintel over there why we need to keep the window over there because uh, i am considering this is a load bearing uh, structure okay and in the load bearing structure the lintel should be provided throughout throughout the walls we need to provide the lintels always you just remember in the load bearing structure throughout the walls wherever the walls will be there whether it is partition walls or whether it is main walls uh, we need to provide the lintels so that's why i'm showing the lintels here and about the lintels there is a masonry and about that one slab then parapet work okay so i just delete this extra parts okay uh, this is our linter this is our slab okay so now i do just one thing here so one section i have drawn okay here i need to provide the pcc also above the uh, at the at the plinth level we need to provide the pcc also so that to avoid the dampness in the float so what is the pcc level i just take the offset offset enter the thickness of the pcc is 0 0.1 so as mentioned that one here also we are taking the PCC point one and here also we are taking the PCC point one. Press enter. So we have provided the PCC. 
so one wall is ready so now what we what i do we have four walls one two three four all the foundation is same for all the walls okay everything will be almost same for all the walls i just copy this wall and just paste all the four years shortcut simply i just copy and paste over here so that uh, the work will get fast uh, how to copy this one i just copy this one from this center to this center so this wall center i just what is this wall center this is our wall center correct i just uh, check what is our wall center 0 0.115 okay this is our wall center i just copy this one i just select this i just copy wall center and i just paste here one two three and the four all the four walls will be there so slab projection and just delete whatever the extra part is required we just draw that one whatever is not required we just delete that one okay first i just draw the plinth level from here to here plinth from here to here plinth again this is plinth next i draw the lintel level from here to here lintel so no need to show here lintel i just tell you i just draw that one uh, okay so that you can easily understand that one the different levels next one is slab <coughs> or else i just extend ex extend 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 okay then projection how much 0 0.45 press enter 0 0.125 press enter and 0 0.45 enter enter i just delete the extra part <coughs> whatever the center lines i just delete this one i just trim the extra parts okay and here one more thing the parapet i will just come to the parapet so here this is the parapet this is the parapet always you just remember so here it is cutting this is the inner wall this is the inner wall this is the exterior wall corner walls are the exterior walls and middle walls are interior walls so always you just remember the parapet always we are providing at the exterior walls only not in the interior walls only at the exterior walls we are providing the parapet so so only at the exterior wall only we need to show on the interior wall we don't need to show so i just delete this one now the parapet level this is our parapet level correct so here i just delete this so we have drawn this one section see here how quickly we draw once one section if ready then all the sections we need to draw so now whatever these things visible we need to draw this one if we cut this one only the walls okay we have drawn only the walls uh, if we cut this one here we need to show the door so half door we need to show so door is inside this one what is the height of the door height of the door is 2.1 meter i just check okay 2.1 meter so this is our door i just a single line you just show that one from here to here so that you can easily identify that one here one door is there i have shown the door i just next so here there is a full opening okay here there is full opening or it, if it is considered as an opening then if you cut this section and you can stand and we see here so this window will be visible correct this window we need to draw here so how to draw that one we can directly project here also but it is not exactly about that one so just uh, see the distance what is the distance of the window from the corners that is 1.05 from the right uh, left corner and from the right corner 1.05 okay so this is our wall so from here i just take offset 
from the right corner from this wall and from this wall and what is the height of the window that is 1.2 meters so remaining part I just check clear next this window is visible next we cut this section this door and after that uh, this wall after that this door will be visible if you see here you can see here the door is visible then this wall what is distance what is the uh, length of the door 1 meter correct so sorry 0.9 meter is it 0.9 meter or meter I just check so here we go door is 1 meter right See door width is 1 meter okay and this one is 0 0.75 and why it is 0.9 here some mistakes we have done this door I just check this is one okay correct this door I just check 1 meter this door okay we need to change this one this we have made as a 0 0.9 okay because of this see here the wall will ending here only exactly here only this one if you do point again one meter then it will come here will, okay so because of that only we just did 0 0.9 meter door there is no issue 0 0.9 meter and one meter door we are providing for the bedrooms there is no issue so how much door width is 0 0.9 meter so we need to show the door here so i just go to the offset width of the door i just provide 0.9 press enter and I just go to the trim command and I just trim this one okay so here we no need to show the lintel and again uh, so no need to show the lintel okay and here this wall simply the wall is there nothing is there I just do okay so I just delete the lintel no need to show that one <coughs> below the lintel only there is a doors and the windows okay so like this we need to show that one wall the wall which is cutting the door the back side window the wall next to the wall there is a door and there is a wall correct so this is wall we need to show the section okay so here again I just trim this one so that it will looks continuous okay so this whatever this foundation is there that is a continuous stone masonry it is a continuous stone masonry okay next flooring we have not shown the floors flooring above the PCC or above the PCC plinth level the flooring will come what is the thickness of the floor we can consider including the bed uh, sorry including the sand bed and include the thickness of the floor I just considering 0.1 meter 0.1 meter is more only I'm just considering normally it is in between 0.05 to 0.1 okay this is our flooring and about the flooring here lintel slab bottom switcher and okay so these all the components we need to show okay so we just check whether all the components cover wall and this one door and this opening this tall this one clear so if it is a arch for example if it is arch then we need to show a small arch over here for example I just show that one arch will start from lintel level from here from here like this we need to show a arch here if it is a arch then we need to show the arch and we can do this one if it is so it is not mentioned that one whether it is a arch or whether it is a, a direct opening okay whether it is movable things like this also we can show 
not mentioned so i just delete this one okay so next uh, we have shown the uh, plinth so uh, we have sh sorry we have shown the foundation mesh plinth mesh about the plinth pcc then wall superstructure and about that one parapet and here also about the plinth at a floor and door and all the things are shown now we need to identify the things how to identify the things identify in the sense we need to hatch the things once you hatch the things uh, by hatching the things we will identify that one uh, what is this okay so i just go to the hatch command go to the hatch okay so the first hatch is pcc so pcc is made up of what pcc is made up of concrete so i go to the concrete hatch i just click here and just i just put on the pcc but it is concrete is not showing okay i just increase the scale i just increase the scale i click on this one uh, i just take 100 it is not coming oh, it is not showing okay here you can see this one 0 0.01 and point zero zero five if i show okay point zero one this is how we need to show the this is how the concrete hatching looks dot dot and small triangles so which means that fine aggregate and the coarse aggregates so this is the hatch of the concrete next we need to hatch the foundation so go to the hatch command foundation pcc so i just uh, said you that uh, this is ins insi 32 is for superstructure or burned brick masonry okay or for the superstructure and for the foundation we need to show insi 33 so one straight line and one dotted line is for foundation and two straight lines for superstructure just click here I just click here okay scale to change okay one or I just change 0 0.5 0 0.5 is okay next about the plinth there is a PCC again that we called as DPC damp proof course about the plinth there is a damp proof called DPC that is also made up of concrete I just go to the concrete I just add here concrete ratio is 0 This much only just kept. Next, wall, wall hatching. What I said, that is superstructure. One, two, and three. Just change this one and just keep one. Okay. Next, here lintel and slab is there. Lintel and slab is made up of what? Concrete only. I just show the concrete. Concrete here, concrete here. Okay, I just change the scale. Clear. <clears throat> so this is our concrete uh, bed PCC foundation DPC, and then uh, superstructure lintel slab and the parapet. So similarly, we'll hatch to the all these things. We we'll just quickly hatch that one. So which is concrete or oh, here concrete and here concrete and here concrete I just click on here concrete here concrete okay here I just put here here escape we again go to the hatch add pick point you can do the pick point or directly can point will take next foundation I just take foundation is 33 
one straight line and one one dotted line next again wall superstructure go to the hole uh, hatch click here 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 these are the superstructure okay next next what is remaining hatch hatch for the flooring and hatch for the this gap the gap between pcc or dpc and uh, the gap between dpc and the ground level this is our ground level right so i just copy this one so that you can easily this is our ground level the distance the depth uh, the distance between pcc uh, and the uh, sorry uh, the distance between dpc and the ground level here we need to fill the sand or we need to fill the soil okay we need to fill the soil and uh, we need to compact that one once we uh, fill the soil we'll just compact after the compaction we need to put the dpc over this i just goes to the hatch i just fill this stand sand or soil i just click the sand that is the sand okay here it is the sand one two three scale i just change this is too much okay next or flooring for the flooring i just give the solid go to the hatch for the flooring i just give the solid okay so these all the components we have covered so hatching we have done uh, all the components you had shown everything we are done now now we need to show the dimensions and we need to give the namings for this one okay i just show the dimensions here uh, i go to the dim style modify primary units 0.0 i just take text i just reduce 0.1 i just take and arrow size also i just take 0.05 because the size is little so here also you can easily this one okay so first width of the pcc next width of the first step width of the second step width of the plinth it is 0.45 i just change this fractions once you change the fraction you will get next width of the wall okay when seconds okay so now depth depth of the pcc depth of the first step depth of the second step depth of the plinth below ground level depth of the plinth above ground level next lintel no need to show the lintel directly we'll show the slab bottom okay next thickness of the, this one that is 0.125 okay this is 0.125 why it is showing 0.13 because the fractions we have taken only 0.00 that's why if you change the fraction it will come properly now thickness of the height okay so all these things we need to show
everything all the dimensions we have covered correct next so no need to show for all, all the walls only one section we need to show now we need to show the what we need to show the naming we need to do the naming for the all the structure all this this one i just go to the uh, i just go to the leader command to for the naming i just use the leader command it will be easy i just click on the leader command here it is asking specify the point this is our point first point okay what is this pcc plain cement concrete uh, 1 is to 4 is to 8 okay next i just take as a 45 degree this is one size stone masonry first first step ssm that is size stone masonry in cm in cement mortar 1 is to 6 first step size stone masonry in cm that is cm in the sense cement mortar of in 1 is to 6 next second step ssm in cm 1 is to 6 so for the uh, stone masonry and for the brick masonry or for the masonry work we are taking the cement mortar of ratio 1 is to 6 1 is to 6 in the sense one part is cement and six part is the sand next Plinth Plinth of size stone masonry in CM one is to six. Next what is this DPSC that is damp proof course damp proof course of 1 is 2 okay this ratio this specification what is mean this one one is the cement four is the sand and eight is the coarse aggregate fine aggregate and coarse aggregate fine aggregate, coarse aggregate. this this will differ okay this specification will differ i am here taking this standard specification which is normally used in the residential buildings next i'm taking the bbm burn brick masonry in cm 1 is to 5 1 is to 5 i'm taking because if it is a burned brick masonry then the ratio of the cement just will be taken higher could be the more strength Next, lintel RCC RCC that is reinforced cement concrete RCC lintel in 
अर्थ सिलेंडर वन इज टू टू इज टू फोर ओके दैट इज यम फिफ्टीन और वन इज टू थ्री इज टू सिक्स ओके नो इश्यू ओके नेक्स्ट आर सी सी स्लैब आर सी सी स्लैब इन वन इज टू टू इज टू फोर नेक्स्ट पैरापेट वॉल पैरापेट वॉल ओके सो हियर यू कैन सी दिस वन दिस इज अ कंप्लीट क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर बिल्डिंग करेक्ट सो इन द प्रेजेंटिंग ड्रॉइंग वी नीड टू शो दिस कंप्लीट क्रॉस सेक्शन सो वॉट इज दैट Uh, we show on the ground level. After the ground level, below the ground level, whatever the structures will come, uh, that also we have shown that one. So after that, above the uh, ground level, the plinth will come. Plin above the plinth, DPC come. After the superstructure, lintel slab and the parapets and all the sections. So when once we cut the building in this uh, cross section, whatever the uh, uh, things will be shown. That is doors, windows, everything we have shown here. Correct. So we have shown the uh, sand filling also. We have shown the uh, flooring bed also. and uh, we have shown the uh, uh, hatching to the uh, all the elements of the structure and we have shown the dimensions for the all the structures okay and after that we give the specifications also so this whatever you have naming you, you have given this is called as specifications okay in technical we call it as specification we have given the specification also for this correct this is how so i just write here below this one section at x x this is our axis right so we have given section at x x uh, i just do it smaller okay so this is our section correct we have done all the hatching everything okay this is our complete building plan or complete building plan or complete building presenting plan okay so this is this these are the minimum things which should be there in the any plans okay so as a engineer as a architect as a, a consultant so these these things should be there in our plans always which is similar these are the minimum things this should be there in the plan okay rather than that you can give the other layouts and all you can attach to the drawings there is no issue but minimum this much should be there in the plans okay this is how you need to do the building plan building elevations and building section this is the this is how the procedure of doing the things okay so this is the second example we have completed here okay so we have seen this one that is the load bearing structure and it is only a ground floor also so in the next example we just see this one rcc structure or rc frame structure and we see the multi story also we just see in the next example okay hope you will understand the uh, how to do the planning how to do the uh, draw the elevation how to draw the section and what are the technical things are there uh, technically how to what are the standard Uh, sizes are there what are the specifications are there i hope everything you just understand this one if you have any doubts you just contact us and you just uh, you have any doubts you just repeatedly you just see the uh, video so that you will get the idea okay so always one time two times you just see the video so you will get the perfect idea about that one and if you if you feel any difficulty in the tools just contact us we just uh, try to solve your 
things okay so most of the cases we uh, on the focusing on the tools we are focusing on the planning we are focusing on the technical uh, building planning building elevation their procedure their sections okay so that will be the things okay uh, thank you thank you so much i will just finish this class here only and we'll see you in the next class thank you